Hello, my name is Lauren Kennedy. I'm the lead nurse here for mental health and learning disabilities here in NHS 24. I've been thinking about this situation and our young people and how this may be affecting your mental well-being at this time. I know a lot of your schools will be closed just now, however some of you will still need to attend school and that might not be your own school. Those of you who have adults who are key workers. These key workers are providing special care to the people of Scotland. Please try not to worry. Things might seem a bit strange to you right now, but we've had to take these special measures to ensure that we can try to slow down the spread of this virus. When we feel worried or scared, this is normal. This is our body's way of telling us that we need to take care of ourselves. I know that there's lots of information coming from various social media channels it's important that you get the right information and not too much of it. Try to talk to your adults about what information you're reading and what you need to know at this time. Again, try not to be annoyed with your adults for not letting you out to socialise with your friends. It's important that we stay at home at this time. We cannot be out in large groups. Again, we need to try to slow the spread of this virus. We should only be going out if it's essential that you attend school if you need medical care, food, or any medications. Other than that, we need to stay at home. So, staying at home, what can you be doing right now? Now's the time to get connected and stay connected. You young people are in the prime position to help family members to get connected digitally. Think about some of the apps that you could be using right now, such as WhatsApp, FaceTime, Zoom, Get your family members and friends set up on one of these channels. It's a great way to keep in touch. You can see each other. Many of you can join at the one time. It's a good way to have fun and a laugh if you can. Some of them are educational. They have games and quizzes attached too. So think about how best to support family and friends to get connected digitally. So while it's important to stay in touch digitally and socially, it's also important to take some time for yourself. Think about some of those things that you've been meaning to do for perhaps the past year or so, such as busting out those jigsaw puzzles. How about those retro board games? You could consider doing some arts and crafts, or maybe even write a story. You might want to set up a film club for your friends, or even think about a bake-off. Try knitting. There are so many things that we could be doing that don't involve social media. A key part to our mental well-being involves exercise. If you can exercise first thing in the morning, you'll definitely feel the benefit. It sets you up for the day ahead. There are various exercise programs available online. Involve the rest of the family if you can, or your adults. You'll find it's fun, it's a good laugh, and you'll definitely feel the benefits. I know some of you will have ongoing mental health supports in place. It's important that you make contact with your local team if you feel you need additional support at this time. Also, speak to your trusted adult about your support plan and try to implement any coping strategies that you have in place. Feeling worried is understandable at this time. Try to take some time to do some relaxation. Use some distraction techniques, perhaps mindfulness. Another good method is having a worry box where if you don't feel that you can talk through your worries with your adult, you can write them down or you can draw them and put them in the worry box. Your adults can then pick up those worries and talk them through with you. If you're taking any prescribed medications for your mental health, it's very, very important that you continue to take those. Many organisations are developing lots of information about mental wellbeing. A key place to find that information is through NHS Inform with a key link to mental health. We can't change the situation that we're experiencing at the moment. I know it won't be forever, but it's important at this time that we find ways that we can enjoy life. Key messages from me today are, stay connected, keep active, and talk to those you trust about how you're feeling.